Hello guys, uh, this is going to be a brief review of my HP Stream 11 uh, that is running Ubuntu 16.04 long term support version uh, and I'm just going to focus on how uh, Linux is running on it uh, specifically this, uh, this version of Ubuntu um, you can see the delay here uh, it is mainly because of the recording uh, but uh, yeah uh, let's go ahead and have a look uh, the we know that these are the hard drive details you got two gigabytes of RAM you got the Celeron processor dual core that's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz uh, and then you got the integrated graphics uh, HD 400 and it's running the 64 bit version of Ubuntu and the hard drive space is 28.7 gigabytes overall. Yeah, when I say hard drive, I mean the flash drive that is on the, on this laptop. It does come with a flash drive and it's not a normal hard drive. Um, so you do get a uh, 100 gigabytes of cloud storage with one drive on it. I did get 100 gigabytes for two years, uh, but I have not used it yet. I don't think I uh, I do need that for myself. Uh, I don't use uh, this laptop for gaming or heavy duty stuff. So it's just mostly books and stuff like that, college stuff, documents. Uh, so I think that is uh, quite good enough for me. And uh, let's go ahead and have a look at this. Uh, what I want to show you is I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tabs open right now, plus the screen recorder. Uh, there's Steam open as well, and there's a BitTorrent light running in the background. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a pretty good performance for a laptop that costs around 120 pounds. And that is around 150 US dollars. Now, um, since this is recording as well and is using a lot of uh, memory, a laptop memory or resources, uh, I'm just gonna uh, close these uh, tabs. You get the basic idea, like you can have 10, 12 tabs open in Chrome and these were names tabs like they've got uh, videos or video pop-ups around here and some of them do run video in the background so uh, I just want to show you uh, a picture uh, from earlier today mm, I was doing some research uh, for my project on quadcopters and while doing the research I was uh, just opening links and links in new tabs, new tabs, and I didn't realize it. Uh, and there were about 20 tabs open. Um, there was Steam running in the background as well, and the BitTorrent was running in the background as well, as you can see. And there was uh, there was some PDF files open as well. So there was that. And uh, I, when I looked at the number of tabs uh, that were open, I took a screenshot of it. Show later because. Uh, when I bought this laptop, it came pre-installed with a Windows 10, and I couldn't um, open more than three or four tabs on it. And that, uh, I don't know why that was the case, but I do think that they got uh, lots of bloatware on uh, Windows 10. I mean, I wouldn't call them bloatware, but they are in a sense because. Uh, to me, I don't usually use them. Uh, you know, you've got like your uh, Windows tiles, tile thingies on the start menu there. You've got some news tiles, you've got financial markets and uh, stuff like that. Uh, uh, that I don't use at all. Uh, other than that, uh, we do have Steam on Ubuntu now. So we have a selection of games that we can play. Uh, now specifically for this laptop, I have 
I've got some games installed. There's Shank. I do play it. it it's quite plays quite smooth. Uh, this Football Manager 17. I do play that as well quite a lot actually. Um, uh, I haven't tested Football Manager 16 or 15 on there, but I'm pretty sure they would run properly as well. But uh, uh, Football Manager 17 is playable with a limited database in the game. There's Shank which is playable as well, there's Shank 2, uh, I haven't tried most of these games but uh, I did try this War of Mine, I got terrible frame rates, it was around 10 FPS so I had to uninstall it but mm, I think uh, Stanley Parable will work but games like Witch 2 obviously they're not gonna work and you will be disappointed if you want to play those kinds of, ga those kinds of games on this laptop but uh, other than that, you should uh, you shouldn't be expecting to play those kind of games on a laptop this cheap in the first place. Uh, so what I do, uh, what I wanted to tell you guys was that switching from Windows to Ubuntu on this laptop, um, I made a very good decision. Initially, I was a bit worried because I did not have any previous experience running. Ubuntu and uh, uh, what I did was uh, what I still do is I got this uh, text file on the desktop that I, that got that has got the most common terminal commands that I might need or I occasionally run. I did move the uh, control Unity controls uh, to the bottom uh, just for. Because I'm familiar with the Windows setup and I didn't like it on the left hand side. Mm. Uh, there's uh, lots of good and uh, good things uh, that I'd like to say about this, especially running with the Ubuntu. Uh, got lots of free software. Uh, firstly, I don't have to pay for an Office, Microsoft Office. You got the Word here. The, this is the alternative to the Word. This um, this here is basically the same as Microsoft's PowerPoint. This is the same as Microsoft's Excel and stuff like that. So uh, it comes pre-installed on Ubuntu. You don't need to do anything. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, this is the version of Excel. Uh, there is um, this is basically the Ubuntu's version of Word. You can obviously open dot doc files and you can open word files in Ubuntu as well so that's not a problem um, uh, that is the basic overview there and we do have some extra uh, what's called as the Ubuntu software uh, now speaking of Firefox um, Ubuntu comes with Firefox pre-installed but there are a few issues with Firefox that on Ubuntu that it does not support Netflix and Google Prime Video out of the box that you do need some extra plugins and it's a lot of work um, to get it run um, but there is another way to run them uh, you just uninstall Firefox and get Google Chrome so it works out of the box you don't need to install anything else just keep running Google Chrome and you will have everything uh, you got your Kodi you can run your Kodi Media Center just get some add-ons you can watch live TV and any TV shows you want to watch everything is available there yeah I am running lots of okay I should not show that yeah <laughs> yeah uh, I do like this button, it's the workspace switcher so you can have four different stuff running you can switch between different desktops like if I get one, one something like this here this is on the second screen and if I switch to the first screen and I run this I can switch between them easily it's not a problem I can have something else running here it's not a problem and I like that a lot it makes it is quite handy when multitasking 
and um, yeah I did show you the picture from the ground where I had told that 20 tabs open and so uh, and this is a decent enough laptop for the price I, I paid 120 pounds for it I wouldn't expect it to be good enough to do some video editing or whatever or run high end games I mean low end games will struggle on it but um, it is good for what it does uh, what I mean by that is that you can surf web you can um, edit documents you can use your Microsoft Office you can do your email uh, it does come with a Thunderbird mail which I like a lot as well I haven't enabled push notifications but if I get an email I get a pop-up saying you got an email and stuff like that um, it is quite good um, other than that I do use it for mostly college work and one more thing I would like to focus on is the battery now I if it's 100% charged and the battery lasts me about 8 hours 8 hours with medium medium usage I do like to take this laptop around with me I do take it to university and somewhere else I'm going somewhere on a journey or somewhere to watch something on the bus a long journey and stuff like that um, uh, what I really like uh, about this laptop is the design I mean although it's just plastic but the design is solid it does not make any noise uh, like I told you it does not have a proper hard drive so it does not make any noise and uh, there's no fan so it's a fanless design it's passive cooling mm. uh, it's quite quite small and compact and lightweight at the same time while well, it has a great great battery life I would say yeah, very good you've got a USB 3 port a USB 2 port and an HDMI port as well you've got a micro SD card port as well so you can just pop in a micro SD card that's what I've done here I got a 64 gigabytes of micro SD card in here for all the books I do download quite a lot of books and um, books I don't generally need I mean, if, but I, I got lots of rubbish stuff in there. I mean, I got lots of uh, thesis. Uh, these are basically research papers that other people have written, and there's some survival guides and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, um, I mean it's uh, as a final verdict I would say that this is good laptop and I would recommend for you guys to switch on to Ubuntu 16.04 because firstly it's completely free and uh, if you're a student and you think about getting this for your college or something and what your expectations are you just want to watch some uh, videos on internet like Netflix or Google Prime, not sorry, I meant uh, Amazon Prime uh, videos and stuff like that, and just normal Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever you guys do, uh, news. Sure, you can have that. You can use internet freely, and you can use Office, just the basic stuff. Uh, and uh, for the Ubuntu software center you, got, uh, you do get if you go to development tools you do have some IDEs you got the code block you got the Eclipse uh, and Python is uh, Python already comes installed on the uh, Ubuntu so if I just go ahead and type Python uh, it says you got Python through 2.7.1 to as default you might want to update that to Python 3 but that's up to you, you can do that on your own mm, I'm gonna close this terminal now 
I'm not sure if, uh, if Ubuntu 16 comes with Python 3, but that's different. So overall, I would say that this is a really good laptop for what it's aimed at. It's not aimed at people who want high-end performance, but it's aimed at students and people who are just content with uh, streaming videos and surfing the web and some basic word processing and documents uh, you can more. Mm, yeah, just some basic document editing, word editing and stuff like that so it's all good for that you don't uh, you don't need a high-end machine for stuff like that and it does it quite well um, I did have Windows 10 installed on it I did not like it because like I said it's got lots of bloatware running which slows the machine further down and the good thing about Ubuntu is you can control everything what's running in the background and um, because you and the way Ubuntu works how you install stuff is quite different from Windows so there's no surprises you, you are in absolute control so that's what I like about this um, OS and I would recommend uh, anyone who wants to run Ubuntu on a stream 11 but I just want to uh, give a word of warning here that if you uh, install Ubuntu on uh, stream 11 it's very hard to install Windows again because HP have not released drivers they're not made them public for this laptop so if you want to install Windows 7 I'm pretty sure you can't do that it's very hard to do that there might be some way you can do that but uh, it's it's really really hard to do it and uh, what I found uh, I was trying to reinstall Windows on it and it's very hard there's some missing drivers because of the updated uh, hardware on this laptop you don't have a traditional hard drive it's more like a flash drive you need some updated drivers which HP have not released so uh, you can use modified drivers I don't know uh, uh, the main point is that if you decide to get Ubuntu you are kind of stuck with it you can't go back to Windows so uh, if you get this laptop and you want to change to Ubuntu uh, just keep in mind that it's really really hard to go back to Windows so only do that if you're really sure and if you are fed up of using Windows so I'll leave you guys with that thought in mind uh, I hope I did help you and uh, giving you a basic overview of running Ubuntu uh, on an HP Stream 11, it does run. I will say quite, mm. quite nice. Uh, I didn't have any problems running Ubuntu so far. I've used it for four months now, so yeah, I would recommend you guys uh, go ahead and get an HP Stream 11. I have had a great experience running Ubuntu on this laptop, and once again, I would highly recommend it. Thank you. I hope you guys have a good day and uh, good night.